how does it feel to be kind of healthy and everything? Where are you with all that? Because it's been a weird couple of years for you. I mean, I've dealt with a lot of adversity. Where are you in terms of your health? 100%. Life? I feel great. It's feeling, uh, feeling a lot like myself, back to what I used to be. Um, you know, like obviously said, I battled some injuries to Liz Frank in my right thumb last year. Um, but I mean, even my right thumb last year, you know, obviously playing with the cast isn't easy. But it's in the end, there's no excuses, but it felt good. Now I feel great. feel like I'm back to myself, 100%. <coughs> Bless you. Yeah, I mean, to me it is. Um, so obviously there's certain scheme stuff that we can use to, to benefit our, our side of the ball. Um, you know, whether it's leveraging fronts, back end, linebackers, whatever it may be. Um, but to me, you know, obviously, you know, we have to have that run defense and it's one of the biggest things. Obviously, it, depending on the team that you may play, it could be a passing offense, but, you know, there's always going to be runs in the game that you got to stop. And if you don't stop those runs, then it it's, makes the game easier and cuts the time off. So. What kind of one of the big Sorry. main points. No, you're good. What does DJ Jones bring to that run defense and also the line? Have you seen that man? I mean, no, he's, I know somebody was joking around talking about he looked like the orange crush in his uniform with all orange. But uh, no, he's an explosive player. You know, I've, I've had the benefit of watching him since he's come in the league. Obviously, I was in San Fran before he before he got there. Um, so I've had the benefit of watching him grow, and he's he's become one of those fierce run defenders in this league. And um, you know, the way his leverage, obviously he's not the tallest, but uh, his leverage, his strength, his explosiveness all benefits him in that run game. Pass game as well. I mean, obviously in San Fran, it wasn't the, he may not have been the, the star pass rusher with everybody they got out there, but he can, so. There's been a lot of talk offensively around here about the sort of wide zone. You see a lot of that around the league now. What is the sort of key to handling that and the horizontal movement that so many teams try to get? Um, for us up front, you know, we want to be explosive. So if we can knock those blocks back and we can knock another blocker off of somebody else, you know, we can penetrate that offensive line, knock that line of scrimmage back. Uh, it, it definitely, they may want to run outside and crease it up the middle. You know, they want to get those gaps open along the outside and plant that foot, get up the field. Um, so for us up front, if we can knock that line of scrimmage back, knock a couple of pullers off, or whatever it may be, um, makes that running back even think even more in the, longer he takes that back there, you know, running that wide zone, the harder it is for, for him to get more yardage and gives our back end more time to, to come downhill. Mike, you, you talked before about how the big system like, really fit you and put you in a position to succeed. Is it similar enough in the E system for you to translate kind of and play the way you did a couple years ago? Yeah, I was actually with E in San Fran under Vic my first two years. Um, and then I even had the benefit of being with him in uh, LA uh, after I was in San Fran. So it's a very similar defense to me. Um, a lot of terminology, things like that. Uh, a lot of the, the way we play with certain blocks, things like that, you know, it's very similar for me. And it's kind of an easy transition. Terminology may be different, but there's a lot of similarities. And why did that fit you so well? Um, I guess the biggest thing, I, honestly, my rookie year under Vic's defense, it didn't, I didn't get that defense. It didn't click for me until training camp. So I went through all OTAs, and it was a struggle. It was a battle. Being undrafted, too. So first year, San Fran had drafted two players, but uh, two defensive linemen in the draft, and I still chose to go there just based off of who they had in front of them. Um, and I wouldn't change that for the world. Mike, Bradley said that this is the first time, I think, since his rookie year that he's been fully healthy during an offseason and kind of really fresh during this time of the year. What have you noticed about, about the way that he's playing, kind of being there alongside him? Along no, you can tell he's comfortable. Obviously, last year, you know, w with the ankle, he uh, – you know, even coming around the edge, you know, he can just say he can feel it. Um, but now you can see him run around that edge, and it's nothing. He can bend. He can move. Um, so he's looking like how he was, you know, his rookie year. Um, so it's nice to have him. And obviously, I think the biggest thing is you're, you're your own worst critic, but you also have to be your own your best, I guess, cheerleader, self-cheerleader, whatever it may be. Um, so for him to have that confidence and feel the way he does, it's the same with me and coming off of my injuries as well. You've had an inspiring journey the way you Oh man, it'd be amazing. It's been a dream come true just being able to play here, obviously. Um, so to be able to, to get back onto a team and you know get this team back to where it was when even when I was growing up, you know, back to back Super Bowls, everything like that, it'd be amazing. Does it feel like that's possible now with Russell Wilson and the energy in this building? 
how the energy definitely changed. And I know we've said that in years past, but in the end, it's it's different. And you know, we have to we can talk the talk all we want, but now we got to show up. Oh, it's great. You know, he's, he used to play. You know, a couple of years we actually were on opposite sidelines of each other. So, you know, he has that energy. Him and AC bring that energy. And um, he's going to talk to you like he knows what he's doing because he, he played too. I mean, it was the same with Bill last year. And Bill's still around, so he can help us out if he needs. But uh, Dixon definitely is bringing that energy and, uh, you know, the experience aspect to it.